Hey everybody, this is Josh from CollectionDX.com with a new review. This time it's the Diaclone Dia Battles Version 2 uh, from Takar Tomy. Um, Diaclone, you might remember, is one of the two toy lines that sort of kicked off. Um, oh, a little toy line you guys might know. Uh, what was it called? Oh, Transformers. So uh, Diaclone and Micro Change got together. Well, were put together, rebranded as Transformers for G1, and then thus a legacy was created. But with Diaclone, there was a whole bunch of toys other than the toys that became part of the Transformers line that maybe they were a little too futuristic, or a little goofy, or too complicated, or maybe the molds were just lost. I have no idea why some toys were chosen and some toys weren't. But for this toy, Die Battles, it actually uh, came out most commonly as a bootleg called Kingdom 3. Uh, so most people might remember that toy more than the original Die Battles. So what we're going to look at here today is a new version, a relaunched Die Clone. This is actually the second version of Die Battles. Uh, the first version had a slightly different uh, paint scheme on the chrome, and from what I understand, there was some work done to tweak the joints a little bit. I don't own the original. I don't know too much about the differences. I will tell you that this toy arrives courtesy of Hobby Link Japan. If you are interested after this review, please go visit Hobby Link Japan and check out what they have to offer, including Die Battles version 2. Die Battles is made out of three spaceships. They are basically called Battles 01, Battles 02, and Battles 03. This is Battles 01. I mean, as, as their own individual pieces go, they're okay. They're, you know, no one's really going to look for or to play with these modes particularly. They're all plastic. The paint is nice. They have little, you know, some of the guns move. The cockpit opens. And here, I'll show you. This is a good reason, good time to show you. Is they come with these little, very tiny Diaclone pilots that are about the same size as the original Diaclone pilots, but obviously much new, newer design. So each one, each vehicle has a cockpit that a figure can go into. So there's a lot of movement here, but the movement really would it comes into play during the combination. And one of the great things about this toy is that there are lots of different combinations you can make. But for now, this is what we're looking at. Battles. O2 is like a spaceship, a jet, something. It's a big winged vehicle. Once again, doesn't do a lot in this mode, but the cockpit does open. And you can put another pilot inside. There you go, the pilot's hanging out inside. Cool looking ship. All plastic, but very sturdy feeling. And here's Battles 03. It has kind of a tank tread legs going on. No actual wheels underneath it though, so it's just for show. There are two opening doors to fit two pilots. Although the whole set only comes with three pilots, so you're always going to be short a pilot if you want to have every um, one opened. But this one in the back has a little door. And on that door, you can store a motorcycle. A little motorcycle that the pilots can fit on. And that just stores up in the back. And again, you can open the door to the cockpit. And a little pilot goes right in. There you go. Before we get too far into this, I want to show you something. The old Diaclone pilots had little magnets in their feet where you could, you know, attach them to magnetic surfaces. Well, in this case, they're, uh, what they've done is provide these little adhesive magnet pads the character can stick on. Now, the idea is you pull these pads off, stick them to places around the figure, and they could ride on them. Uh, I'm not putting the stickers on. I don't know. I just don't feel like I need them. I'm going to use them. So into the bag they go. But I wanted to let you know that was an option. So now we're going to assemble the three into the combined die battles. So uh, there's a few different things we can do. But the first thing we'll do is to uh, 
pop the chest up like so. I mean the waist up. Put our feet down and then these kind of go around the back like this. And that's all we're gonna do right there for a moment. Second part we need to do is separate these two. There's a little button right here. And then you have two leg parts and these little collapse. There's a neat trick here with these legs where open the door, come around, and close the door. So you're basically like reversing the legs. Do it again for you. Okay. The legs are the same, so you can put either one on either side. I guess if you want to be a little fancy, the screw holes could probably go on the inside just for aesthetic purposes. All right, so you got some legs. Now we look at the, the ship here. This unit comes off. And this is kind of set up like, almost like if it was a show where they dock and then they combine. So this clicks in here. And what's awesome is now that they're combined, these arms slide forward. See it again on this side. And the hands are uh, in here, in these little panels. So you gotta open them up on both sides. Just turn the hands around and close it. I have big hands and no fingernails, so that's what you get. And then these go up. This pulls back, and I rotate these around just for for show. And you can actually take these out. The, they, they're designed to be either way, but you'll have better articulation if you pull these little pegs out on the back. So I take those out. There you go. Now the coolest part is the head. The head, check this out, there's a little button on the back. There you go. How awesome is that? And you can see that the head's got some nice light piping in it there. So a neat little spring-loaded gimmick. I think that's a really nice touch. And there you have the combined Diet Battles. He looks pretty phenomenal. Gotta admit, and he's so much fun to put together and play with. Let's show you a couple of the cool things that you can do with this guy. So the, you can add these little clips on the side for him to store his swords in. I think that's a really nice feature. And this, this, this hands are built in. There's no interchangeable hands, no moving figures, so he can hold the swords pretty firmly, you don't have to worry about any, any issues there. And listen to the click. How nice is that? I love it. And there's a pretty good range of motion in here. These chrome guns can be replaced with a few different uh, things. You can use uh, these, like, they look like machine gun tips, almost. So you can have sort of firearm shoulders, which is it's kind of tight, but that's all right. So you can have a look that's like that. Or you can take those out and you can put these ones in. These are a little looser, but they're just longer sort of javelin ones. And I bet you could even put the swords in there. Not that they're designed to do that, but eh, why not? And putting die battles together, you have these parts left over, but not really left over, they do stuff. Another vehicle. And this vehicle, like I said, holds the motorcycle. And there's another two spots there for you to put those magnetic uh, stickers if you wanted to put them right there. So pretty much all the parts get used in some fashion. But, like I said, the thing about dive battles 
is you can uh, combine him into different things and we are going to go through some of those modes right now. I am going to cheat a little bit and look at the instructions because there are a bunch of different modes and I can't remember every single one of them but we're going to do that right now. So we're going to now go into scramble mode. So it's a little bit of work we have to do to get to that point but it's not too bad. Let's take a look. These things come off. Very good. Uh, to get the head back in, you just sort of pull it out and push it into it clicks. There you go. He's in there. He clicks. I'm going to take the hands and make them jets again. Just fold them around like so. I don't know if I'm going to show you the meat behind every combination, but I wanted to just sort of show you that how the toy is engineered to transform into different uh, versions. Take that sword off. Okay, we get that going there. And then we switch the legs back around. Take these out. Now you notice here there's a, a tab and a tab hole. Just another nice little bit of, oh, these things are meant to go together. Okay, this. And what we could do again too is open these tabs in the legs to lock them in place. Everything has a, if it has a tab on it, it is easily openable. Even if you look at the feet, there's a tab here that locks them into the toes. Lots of little locky tabs. And basically, that is scramble mode. So you get a little ship flies around but there's so much more you can do and I'm gonna show them to you right now this mode is called manual mode it pretty much swaps seamlessly from the last mode from scramble mode without any real parts swapping so you can this is a self-contained transformation into this mode this combined spaceship mode is called Battles Trizer. And yeah, it, it has all three ships in one, plus the component vehicles are also now included. So this one is a major parts former. So you have to do a lot of uh, disassembly and assembly to make this one count. But still, it holds together tight and cohesive, and that's because everything tabs together. This mode is called uh, Crawler. Just a little, you know, only if select parts are used here. Once again, it would have been great if there were little wheels on the bottom, but they're not. A small change from Crawler, you get Hopper, which is kind of a battle pod looking two leg walker. This one is kind of an awkward mode, but this one is called Glide. And yeah, it's, I don't know, a hang glider. Walker kind of has a battle tech look to me, just that awkward or robot jocks. I don't know quite why, but still cool. This last mode is called Fortress. Now, just because that's the last mode in the instruction books does not mean it's your last mode. There are so many different combinations you can make, and there are many different new Diaclone toys, and they can all work together and combine to something really remarkable. This is the only one I have. But rest assured, if I get some more, we'll, I'll show you more of the combinations you can make between everything. It's pretty phenomenal. The cool thing is before I go, this bike, whoop, <laughs> shot the bike a little bit, has a, an extendable front fork. And these riders can actually ride on the bike really well. They can stay on fairly nicely. They're very articulated little guys. You get a lot of things with the set. You get this oh, common card. You get the instruction booklet. It's very nice and glossy. But check this out. You also get this nice mission for the space frontier. And it's a room, it's beautiful. Just so nicely done. If I read Japanese, I'd be all over it because these paintings are phenomenal. And it shows you 
some of the combinations you could do with the, the weapons and it, it's really great so i mean it's just gorgeous what you can do with this and because of the variety of things you can make there's also no point in just having one you could have three of them there was a a regular version and then a special color version and now the version two all right good great this has been Josh from CollectionDX.com. Once again, thank you to Hobby Link Japan for sending this over. You can find Dia Battles version 2 and other fine Japanese robot toys at HLJ.com. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.